Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy, and this is my little 10-minute window to the rest of the world. And today is a very special day. I have been asked to create a Wonder Woman costume, a cosplay style quality Wonder Woman costume for a photo shoot. They came to the Wonder Woman expert, myself. I'm not sure if I'm really 100% proud of that title, but nonetheless, they asked me and I told them I have some stuff. And I'm going to put the finishing touches on a couple of outfits right now. So, tonight, you're going to see us bringing Wonder Woman to life. Okay, we're underway. Things looking good. A little bit of doctoring here and there. Okay, today is Tuesday, October 1st, and it is about eight or nine hours till the shoot. The costume is almost complete, the Wonder Woman costume that is. I still have to find or create ruby earrings and try to find a belt that we can use to attach the centerpiece. Okay, it would seem that the Salvation Army, which I just went to, didn't have anything, actually they didn't really have any jewelry on display. I had to go through the little stuff behind the counter that let me sift through it, but um, like, there was no clip-on earring back that I could dissect. But I did just think of something. I'm gonna try I party or party city, whatever the hell it is this year, up the street because I do remember they having a line of items that were like color themed, like orange, all orange wigs, all orange bodysuits, and all that kind of crap. I'm gonna see if they have earrings or something that could look like earring backs. We'll see. It seemed party city had what I was looking for some uh, simple clip on earring backs. Now, we're obviously, I'm not gonna go with these, we're gonna pop off the ring right here. And then we'll glue those little glass beads that I found yesterday at work and painted red. So, um, in worst case scenario, we have at least clip-on earrings. Now we have to move on to connecting the belt section to the, the suit and off front chest eagle part. And we'll get done. Okay, I was able to um, remember to get the white duct tape from Staples. So we'll be able to trim the boots for the shoot. And um, now I gotta go back and put all this together, what I have so far, and uh, see what I'm missing. Next thing we have to do is fix these boots. So, um, break out the hot glue and then we'll paint them up. Okay, here we go. This clip, we're gonna take the ring off. This will come off with it. And then we'll hot glue some of these glass beads that I had painted yesterday for the ideal Wonder Woman earrings. Perfect. Okay, six hours to the shoot, and this is what we got so far. I'm getting there. Okay, here we go. Wonder Woman in the box. It's complete. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna head schedule, so I'm gonna head out to work. And then after, out to Worcester for a photo shoot. All right, it is about quarter of five, and I'm on my way to Drew's. To meet him there before we go to the um, to the photo studio, I'm gonna stop and get something to eat though. Okay. Oh, that's my camera. I made it to Drew's. I'm running ahead of the schedule, so um, we're just waiting for Amy to get back from the store, and then we'll head out. Excellent. Twenty minutes. We're still waiting. We'll get there. We were ahead of schedule. Oh, I guess we are ahead of schedule. Well, we were. Thirty minutes off schedule now. 30 minutes behind. We'll get there. Eventually. 40 minutes late. Okay. We're off to Genesis Photographic Studios in Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester. So we got the things full, and the people are there, and this should be fun. Okay. We're on our way. Yes, we are. We're actually in the car now. Amazingly. We packed up everything, right? Yeah, we got everything. Okay. Let's take a breath. And become men again. We're men. Hmm. Oh. Domesticate. Breathe in the domestication and breathe it out. Breathe it in. Oh. Okay, it's out. Now we're on our way. We are here. 
We are at Genesis Photographic Studios. Ah, yeah, there we go. Up there. Yep. All right, maybe we gotta get this, this stuff up there, though. <laughs> <laughs> the devil drives a Toyota. I knew it. He likes the gas mileage. All right, let's get this. Uh, this end is delicate, this end is okay. Hmm. We're making our way, we're almost there. Oh, here we are. There we are. The photo studio is up on up to second floor? Second floor. Second the elevator. Floor. Oh, I'm gonna take the elevator. I think we should be hearing this inside the elevator. Let's see what you're playing inside the elevator. Nothing. Do. Alrighty. Here we go. Number two. Second floor. Okay. Whoa. And this is the Genesis Photography Studio. All the magic happens. The magic, can you feel it? I know I can. Get better and better. This is my seat. Here we go. So we are still waiting. Who do you believe would make the ultimate Wonder Woman right now? I'm not that jaded in society. I believe that there's a lot of actresses out there that could become Wonder Woman, I mean. No, no, but if you had to pick one, who would it be? Like, you're casting Wonder Woman. I don't know very many action heroines right now. Heroines right now. It has to be someone who's genuinely tall, because we can't apple box um, Wonder Woman. Maybe Charlize Theron? Yeah, but you'd have to bulk her arms up a little bit. She'd have to tone up a bit, though. Because she, I mean, cause she, yeah, she looked good in you know, Flux, but seriously, she was packed under like tight black vinyl. So, I mean, well, I anybody mean, can look good under tight vinyl. When you're, when you're bare-armed and, you know, bare-necked and bare-chested, you still look like you could kick someone's ass. That takes tough. That takes tough. can do action, but we've already seen her do action. I kind of, I don't know, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. Who would be a good Steve Trevor? I would cast this wrong, as people would say, because I would actually cast someone whose age of being realistically Major Trevor. I wouldn't get Zac Efron or anything like that, anybody like that. I'd get, you know, somebody who's like... It wouldn't be Vin, Vin Diesel. It would be someone Vin Diesel's age. Yeah. Action. He's, he embodies action himself. You can't have Major Trevor embodying action, the actions, your Wonder Woman. It wouldn't GB Jason Statham? No, he'd need hair. It wouldn't work. <laughs> this is a little sneak preview of what Lou will have at Rock and Chalk. Fork you, man. Fork you. Worcester, Massachusetts always leaves a smile on my face. We've done a lot of waiting tonight, it seems. But just for the record, someone here was 20 minutes early. Yes. And that's not saying, you know. And ready to go and had this stuff ready to go. Oh, for the longest time. Bam, 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 bam. Looks like this might be a no show. Still, it's kind of fun to make the costume. At least the wives aren't here. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like Wonder Woman didn't show up, nope. but that's okay. We're gonna go on a guy's night on the town here. You're all ready for this? It's 7.35 and we're on the road. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. Good night. <laughs>